I wanted to do this quick review on this Rail King old gauge SD45 locomotive again. And this is the second uh, review and it's not gonna be nothing long. And the reason why I wanna do this review is because I wanted to show people the sound file that I've swapped out and replaced with this engine. Now, I'm not gonna get into the details in this video on how I necessarily did it because I'm still a newcomer at it. I actually had to contact MTH just to assist me with it because I couldn't even figure out how to begin to start the process. So I don't wanna mislead and give out the wrong information and just for another heads up, there's another engine that I swapped out the sound file of. And even though within this one, fortunately, I was lucky enough to get this done within the first shot, but that second engine, and even though I have successfully changed out the sound file of it now, it did take me about a day and a half before I can actually complete it successfully. I had all kinds of complications. Uh, the sound file that I was trying to replace it with, in certain cases it wouldn't upload, and then I had no sound file in there. The engine would sound completely crazy at times when I would turn it on, so it was it was a bit of a complication, but I've seemed to get gotten that under control now. But that's another subject for another video. But in this video here, even though this is a Rail King model and it's not as detailed, I must say that this engine is not a disappointment. And the one thing that I'm very impressed with when it comes down to the sound file, and pretty much everything is the same. The horn sounds uh, the same, exactly the same, and I believe the bell sound is exactly the same. But the engine sound itself is a little different. I, I managed to swap, swap it out for a different engine sound. But with this speaker here, this speaker actually puts out a nice loud amount of bass. So when you turn it on and you actually got the, um, you rev up the engine, you can actually feel the vibration, which I believe is a very impressive look when it comes down to model railroading because it gives it a more realistic feel, especially if you have an accurate sound file in there. It's just, uh, it makes it, it just makes it that much better or that much more enjoyable. But be it that it may, I do have another SD45 locomotive coming in a, uh, a, a what's it, a Premier model, but I'll do a review on that when I finally get my hands on it. But with this engine here, pretty much what I did was I swapped the sound file out because the sound file that was in there, I wasn't necessarily familiar with it. And not that it's, there was anything wrong with it, but it just wasn't to my particular liking. And the engines, the locomotives that have actually been around that resemble this same engine here, have a different sound file from what was previously in there. So I decided to go ahead and get something that sounded exact. what the sound file sounds exactly alike what you would find on your New Jersey Transit passenger, I believe they're Jeep 40s, PH or uh, 2B or whatever the uh, number is. They got many different uh, numbers, but they all pretty much sound the same. The only difference with this with the engine sound having the exact same sound and it, it sounds very, it's, just, it's very impressive. The only thing, and maybe somebody can, uh, if you have any idea of what I'm talking about, you can feel free to leave a comment on the comment section and elaborate on this. But the only sound effect that it doesn't have, I know these engines have a, uh, a separate generator that I believe is called the HEP and a, it goes by heat end power, that is heat END power and I believe well that's pretty much for to power up the train cars and to provide them with heat or whatever the case may be now when these engines come on and these are New Jersey Transit and the Connecticut branch that runs them out in New Haven you can always hear these uh, these engines accelerating or you can hear the sound effect in the background and it comes in in and out sporadically at times or other times it just run throughout the entire time the engine is on Every sound effect in here is pretty accurate, except that's the one thing that is not in here. Maybe I just haven't figured out how to get that or activate that sound feature. If somebody has any idea of how to do it, you can feel free to let me know. Or maybe MTH just hasn't produced a sound file that has um, that sound feature in it. But with that being said, what I'm going to do is a quick little comparison. And I'm going to let you listen to how the engine previously sound. And I'm going to rev it up from zero to notch eight and then i'm going to let you listen to the sound file that i have in it now and i'm going to do it from zero to eight i believe it goes from zero to seven i might uh, i might be mistaken or maybe 
there was some mistake made on the part of MTH. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the uh, previous sound file and let you listen to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to charge it up on, from uh, notch 1 to notch 8. So now that that comparison is out of the way, what I'm going to do here, and the, what I want you to notice as I charge the engine up, is I want you to listen to the good bass line that comes from the speaker. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. And I'm going to go from level 1 to level 8 and then back. <laughs> 